First, I would like to send condolences from the Lotro Police Department to the mother and father who lost their son. I don't think any parents should have to bury their own child. On Sunday, January the 14th at approximately 1.30 p.m., the shooting occurred at the Martin Lewis Park located in the Lotro. The shooting victim, Dana Walker Jr. of Gainesville, was transported to Shands, where he was pronounced dead. Over the past two weeks, detectives from the Alachua Police Department, as well as the Alachua County Sheriff's Office, have worked around the clock investigating leads, interviewing potential witnesses. As a result of this investigation, a suspect was developed and charges have been filed. Kamari Hampton, date of birth 110-2003, was arrested on January 19, 2018 for perjury in a capital proceeding and remains in juvenile detention center. Based on the outcome of this investigation, charges were updated today to reflect the charge of murder and the killing of Dale Walker, Jr. The retaliation shooting that occurred on the following day where six victims were injured is still under investigation. However, great progress is being made. We expect information to be released in the very near future. I want the citizens of the Good Life community to know that we absolutely do not tolerate these types of actions in this community. The investigation is not over by any means, and there are, other, there are others that know information regarding these incidents. We have partnered with Crime Stoppers to offer a $1,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in the shooting of the six innocent victims three of them being small children. Those with the information can call Crime Stoppers hotline at 352-372-STOP. We want to thank the Lafayette County Sheriff's Office for partnering with us and offering their resources during this very intense investigation. Thank you. Are there any questions? How did you find him? He's uh, in the community. We know him. So you was know, he hiding we, we, from you, know, you? He wasn't hiding at all. Where was he yeah. when you found him? He was, we called him in for questioning. Okay. He came in, as a matter of fact, one, uh, he was brought in, and we um, questioned him about the incident, and he took him into custody. Then. Did you find him because of a tip or leads that you guys were able to? No. No. No, just somebody in the community that knew him. And they messaged you? Yeah, they brought him to oh, us. Oh, and they brought them? They brought him. Uh, when it comes to the other uh, the other shooting with the, the six when the six people were injured, um, uh, do you guys have anything that you could give us about maybe you know details of what you're looking for still? Um, I know that originally you said you had a car of some sort that you thought was involved. Do you have details of that, or is that still no details? Just information, any information that they may have uh, that they may have that we don't know concerning the incident. Now, can we confirm that this is now gang related? There was suspicion last time. Just suspicion. I mean, you know, I can't really say if it was gang related or not, but there's been suspicion of that. There was also suspicion of it being the retaliation that happened on Monday. Can we confirm that? Possibly. Okay. Yes. 